This assessment asks us to tell how many stereocenters are possible for the molecule on screen. Let me redraw it so we don't have to worry about that weatherman effect. To determine the number of stereoisomers possible, we want to know how many stereocenters there are, because for n stereocenters, we end up with 2 to the n stereoisomers. Well, if we draw on the hydrogens on these two carbons, we notice that this molecule has two stereocenters. So 2 to the 2 would suggest that there are four possible stereoisomers. That would be true except for one thing, and that is even when we draw it this way, we see that this molecule has a plane of symmetry. As a result of that plane of symmetry, these two molecules that I'm going to draw here are identical despite both being up here and both being down here, these two molecules are the same. We can imagine why that would be if we take this molecule on the right and flip it over, we would regenerate this molecule here. So these two molecules are identical. What is it that makes them identical? We have chiral centers, but we have a plane of symmetry. So this molecule here is in fact a meso compound. That requires us to then change our answer here. Instead of having four stereoisomers, we have three.